Hi, I'm Jamie Ruby from Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Um, so your characters share, let's say, a tumultuous relationship, not necessarily personally, but because of who they are. Um, so can you maybe tease a bit sort of who they are to each other and sort of how that affects, I guess, the story? I mean, they have sort of that the same, you know, they're like you say, part of a three-way power structure and there's a great respect and admiration. They sort of lean on each other slightly in order for things to work. So, you know, you'll hold your corner and I'll hold mine and hopefully it's sort of aligned. And when it doesn't, then there's a, there's a problem. Yeah, they've made a, in, in the in the restructure of the future as we know it without giving mm. anything away, um, uh, a deal has been made between three pillars yeah, of power. It's a shared understanding. Exactly. And that's now starting, the fabric of that is starting to crumble. Yeah, and it's, um, uh, it's how we how we uh, uh, react to that and who's going to make the, the quick grab for control. All right, fair enough. Um, what was it kind of that brought you both to the role that made you say you had to do it? I mean, you've seen the show, right? Yes. <laughs> there you go. It's brilliant. The writing is brilliant. The sets are brilliant. Our costume designers are brilliant. The team behind it are absolutely fantastic. It's very rarely that you're giving a part like this that is so theatrical, that it lends itself to TV, that is so complex. I mean, you'd be an idiot to say no. Yeah, it's got one hell of a scale. Yeah. And the second, the first time I read it, it's just one of those pieces that you go, what do I need to do to be a part of that? Yeah. I want to be with those people. How do I make it good? Can I be good enough? Yeah, yeah. Please? <laughs> Fill those boots. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen six and I'm upset I don't have the rest of them. Uh, so I want to know what happens. Um, so quickly, what did your characters teach you about yourselves? If anything. Mm, that's a, such a good question. I wish I had an answer for that. I need a better tailor. They need a better tailor. Yes, this yeah. is true. Oh, that I can learn lines really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> the mic's <nice> notice. <laughs> just to be, just to be very wary of power. Mm. You know, uh, uh, not much good has come from powerful men. You know, right. levers no levers no different. Mm. <laughs> Obviously, um, I'm guessing they're not like you, but was it easy to connect to them? Like, wh what was kind of your in, I guess, to connect to the characters? The shoes. The shoes. Sure, like, you know, I'd never worn Manana Blanix before. I, you put them on and that's it. You know, you are a world dominating, <laughs> domineering <laughs> oligarch. With a pair of, with a pair of shoes. Right. Um, you... No, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Um, humanity, I think her humanity that might not appear so fast I mean that was sort of because she, 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 she's twisted you have to find something to cling on to yeah. right and you kind of go with that so yeah, her humanity yeah I was gonna say can you can you describe them in three words maybe twisted is one of them yes oh my god twisted ambitious they're both and ambitious. genius she's a genius yeah. all right what about you JJ it's the ambition, isn't it? It's actually yeah. a warning of ambition. The difference between us, the three pillars of power, us two, and then uh, Alexander Billings, who plays Lowburn, actually were the two ambitious ones, yeah. weren't we? Yeah. We're uh, uh, ambitious, mercurial, um, scheming. I think they're revels in, in plans mm. and schemes. It's just all fun. <laughs> Until it goes wrong, and then, it's, then he's a very, very sore loser. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I want to see the rest. So. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Great to hear. Thanks. Thank you, darling.